everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a weekly reading so let's get started we have group number one group number two and group number three so let's get started we're going to take 10 seconds to choose your group Okay, let's get started with group number one. Hello, group number one. Let's get started and see what's happening uh, for you in the week of the 23rd of September. So let's get started. We have Karoo Sight, Travel, Root and Crown Chakra, Courage, Red Jasper, Miracles, and Lapis Lazuli. Wow, you got some really big stuff coming for you guys in the week of the 23rd. Holy crap. Okay, so here you can see that we have miracles coming. We have a life-changing experience. We've got some courage coming on, coming in. So I do definitely feel like you guys are going to have to need a lot of courage in terms of this life-changing experience or epiphany. Or it's just taking you a lot of courage to actually get to this spot. So with this miracles card, it says, have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender to the how. So basically, you guys, if you are wondering what's happening, why am I trying so hard to manifest and nothing's happening, these things are coming in, okay? And this is my favorite card because it just affirms that things are coming in for you. It's a big, it's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. Like, look how stunning that is. Like, you're going to take the sword out of the stone. And it's going to be holy. It's going to be holy moly. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So you guys could actually get the chance to travel this week or you could essentially be booking a flight or be planning a trip okay um also it's telling me with Karoo site to be grounded and to be authentic that's what I got um intuitively um and also to be transparent I'm not sure but they're telling me that means to um be understanding of how other people are feeling and to let things fly in terms of harsh emotions okay so that is the general energy for this week. It is absolutely stunning. I love this. I'm seeing like openings, I'm seeing entrances, just things coming forward and it's just absolutely amazing, okay? So let's have a look and see what's happening on the week of Monday. We have Knight of Pentacles. Someone coming in. This is also to do with the root chakra. I feel like it's doing the Knight of Pentacles, very grounded. Tuesday. We have the uh, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Wednesday, the world. Thursday, three of pentacles. Friday, and Saturday and Sunday. Holy shit, wow. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. Perfect. Okay, that, I'm going to put that up right because that my whole deck was in reverse. Right, guys. So for you, on Monday we have some grounded information coming in. Could be from an Earth sign. This could also be an offer of money. I feel like you guys are going to be really, really prosperous in money and going to feel really, really good about your finances. Okay. Um, for Tuesday we have the you're looking more at what you've earned and you're kind of feeling a little bit lacking so it's really weird that we have a contrast so maybe you've spent a lot on Monday and now you're kind of thinking oh crap shouldn't have done that <laughs> um, but I definitely feel like you guys could also be investing in travel and therefore you may not have a lot of money to kind of carry on through the month but this is also really good because I feel like I do see money coming in for you in about October time and the end of September so don't worry about that on Wednesday we had the world cards we have a gorgeous new cycle starting and we have this life-changing experience coming in for Thursday, we have the Three of Pentacles, which is all about communication, community, cooperation. So you could be getting more closer to your colleagues. You could meet some new friends. You could actually be meeting a friend on Thursday. This will be the 26th of September. And then the 27th uh, on Friday, we have the Four of Cups, an offer coming in. There may be somebody who's come back from your past. You're not keen on them, but you may actually give them a go because we have a gorgeous Ten of Cups or the three of, and the Three of uh, ones. This could be you accepting or not accepting and maybe not accepting will actually gain you this experience or accepting will give you this, this experience. It's all in, this is a general reading guys so take it as it resonates. This is somebody from a far off land, it could be you just kind of walking away and being like actually no I've got greener pastures. 
for me in the future or it could be you accepting a gorgeous offer from someone new and it being absolutely stunning and you actually going traveling with this person you may have already booked the travel and you think actually do you know what do you want to come with me you know so that is your quick reading for the weekly energy i hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching and i'll speak to you very soon oh also i'm doing 10 percent off for the rest of september for my private readings if you'd like to subscribe please feel free and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number two let's get started with your reading and let's see what's coming for you in the week of the 23rd so we have moldavite unconventionality your unique abilities are an important part of your life purpose it's okay to feel and be different from others heart protection ruby passion root and sacral chakra past loved ones root chakra and we have courage throat chakra this is chai stola and this is ak maureen and the overall energy we have is a discernment so there may be some people in your life that may be coming in uh, from the past or may be just be friends or family who you need to be discerning about some people you may not want to tell these things to in terms of something new and you may want to protect your heart your family may not agree with kind of where you're at and you may just have to kind of stand your ground and say, actually, no, this is how I want to be. I don't really care what you think. This is kind of like what I want to be. And I'm not going to listen to what you're telling me. OK, um, I feel like you're going to need a lot of courage to kind of get through this week. But I feel like in terms of um, courage, I don't feel like you're lacking in it. I think it's just kind of bringing that courage in towards you and kind of using that in terms of talking about how you really feel, being passionate about how you feel. And I feel like you're spirituality has really really is really really going to increase in this in this week and it's really important for you to protect your heart when needed and actually open it when things start to become more looser and more comfortable for you you know it's just kind of being discerning um i feel like you're gonna be very passionate about something and something that could be that your family also is very passionate about but you may be kind of giving um giving it a bit more of a spiritual twist um, or you may be doing something that maybe your family actually doesn't agree with, but obviously your past loved ones will, or your spiritual ancestors are all there behind you, kind of giving you the uh, thumbs up, you know? Um, and you may be different from your entire family, and you may need to have a really good discussion with them, or you may actually need to break apart from them, you know, and actually protect your heart and say, actually, it's okay, I'm doing this for me. It says, all is not what it seems. Stay true to your knowledge. Keep your dreams a secret. So maybe something you really want to do and you may want to talk about it, but actually it may be best to actually not talk about it. Okay. So let's have a look for Monday, the 23rd. Let's have a look and see what's going on for Monday, the 23rd. Monday. What's going on Monday? Oh, lovely. King of Cups. That is sexy. Okay, with the Ten of Swords, oh my god, yes, yeah. so you could have someone coming in, or like a new person coming in because you've ended this cycle and you said to the universe, hey, I want to end this, this is what I want to do, I want to start something new, let's get this started, let's get really, really open about how we feel, you know, there's going to be that energy coming through, so it could be someone new coming in, or it could just be someone helping you, and you standing, or you standing grounded in your emotions saying, this is what I want, I'm going to do it, I'm going to be brave, you know. On Tuesday, we have the Four of Swords. So you're going to be kind of debating about um, where you're at. You're kind of sitting in your feelings. You're going to be, this is a very chilled day. I think Tuesday is going to be quite a chilled day. Um, I like the Four of Swords in terms of the whole day. I think it's going to be very chilled. You're going to be very satisfied. This is after like Monday. You're going to be really satisfied. On Wednesday, we have the Page of Swords. So you're going to be kind of looking out to new opportunities. Um, you're going to think about taking action on something in terms of your passions. Could be in terms of your love, your love life. Feel like your love life is going to be picking up. But the devil in reverse. So this is for Thursday, the 26th. So this is going to be you kind of letting go of all these burdens that you've kind of been um, holding on to. And in terms of your, um, your ancestors, I feel like you're actually um, diminishing a um, family pattern. Okay. So Friday... We have, oh, wow, yeah, and because of this, you're going to be really successful, and you're going to be like, look how far I've come, I've done so amazing, so it's like just kind of little bits in every single day, and I feel like that's really, really good, you're taking it each step, you know, so we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then let's get Saturday and Sunday, I feel like courage for this aquamarine, this card is absolutely stunning, like, look how stunning that is. I just think that's absolutely stunning. That's you kind of being really exposed, really amazing, and almost being, like, naked, you know? You just feel exposed, but in a really good way. It's, like, very liberating, you know? You can really be in your element. So Saturday is the Two of Pentacles, and Sunday is the Ace of Swords. 
Oh, also guys, you've got the Ace of Cups underneath. This is gonna be an extremely good week for you. This could be in terms of love. This could be new love coming in. This could, because you're basically saying to the universe, I'm ready, I'm ready to be open. Um, sorry guys, there's like a hair underneath my uh, leaves. Um, underneath my leaves. This is you being really, really kind of like stepping into that emotional energy, bringing in that throat chakra energy and saying, look, this is what I wanna do. This is how I wanna be. I want people to accept me for who I am, whether you're single or not. But I do feel like because of this, if you are single, you will be bringing in a new partner, okay? You're bringing in more authentic people who will love you for who you are. And basically on the weekend, I feel like you may be kind of juggling um, work-life balance. Um, but I do feel like it's kind of a balance between, I'm getting like a horse and carriage, so possibly could be travel. Um, it also could be you, it's telling me you're going towards a new experience, so you're basically prepping for it. Um, maybe subconsciously, in terms of like, the next step because you're ready for that next step so you're basically preparing for something new and amazing could be a new opportunity in terms of relationships love um passions about life about things you're really passionate about could be your hobby it could be a new job you know whatever you're looking for i think it's going to come in this week in terms of like expansion it's absolutely stunning so thank you so much for watching guys if you feel like to subscribe please feel free comment down below if it resonates also i'm doing 10 percent off throughout september so if you'd like to get uh, get up on that deal then please do all the information is down below and i'll speak to you very soon bye hello group number three let's get started with your weekly reading and let's see what's going on for you in the week of the 23rd so we have malachite nature heart chakra that's stunning i love that boundaries angels sensitive emotions and we also oh, <laughs> we also have goddess Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. Right, so you guys, I feel like for you guys this week is going to be quite emotional, right? I feel like because of this um, where Libra is going into Venus, it's absolutely stunning. It's like everything's starting to come out. It's absolutely beautiful. You are just basically balancing your own emotions right now. In terms of your heart, it's going to be really important for you to go out in nature. That's really going to help you. And to set boundaries. The, and the spirit guides are going to help you to do this. Your spirit guides and angels are going to help you to do this. This is really going to combat a lot of past life uh not, not like, i don't like saying karma like past life um patterns um family patterns this is all going to be kind of the starting point of that or you're really going to start to notice kind of what do i need to improve on in this sort of area okay it's you becoming more confident in yourself and being really called to have extra self-care for you for yourself and to acknowledge that these emotions are there for a reason and they're there to help you get through this energy and not to block it that's the most important thing right now okay this is stunning this malachite i love this and it's very similar to this very like greeny and turquoisey and this as well like these are all extremely similar these colors so definitely a lot to do with your heart chakra it's definitely going to be coming out so really look out for that nurture yourself and to know that it's okay if you feel sad if you feel angry really kind of let it out possibly not in front of somebody else um unless they're really annoying you but i feel like you're also going to be coming into contact possibly with the twin flame or soulmate counterpart because we've got the feminine and the masculine here so you actually or two people uh so yeah two people could be coming together you and somebody else or it could be you realizing that actually i don't need anyone and for some of you it could be your feminine and masculine energies coming together i'm really balancing that out and that's going to really help you with your heart chakra it's actually going to help you to approach masculine energies and for the masculines who are watching this doesn't have to be um an actual it doesn't have to be a man it can be a woman with a masculine energy um if you're more of the masculine energy you're going to be balancing your feminine energy so it's either or yin and yang okay so on monday let's see what's going on for you guys On Monday we have judgment, stunning. So we could have somebody coming forward for you in terms of communication. You're going to be settled. You're going to be ultimately settled, whatever that means for you in terms of love, relationships, communication, travel. You know, you're going to know something. It's going to be the end of it. You're going to be like, thank God, you know. And then on the on the Tuesday, which is the 24th, you're going to be so happy because you have this moment of judgment. You're going to be like, yes, thank you, Lord. You know, thank you, universe. Thank you, God, angels, divine beings, you know, anybody you kind of look up to and want you want to help you. I definitely feel like that's coming in really strongly, okay? So, on Wednesday, I feel like definitely with judgment could also be to do with money. I feel like possibly a court case could be settled and you could be like, yes, winning, you know? 
So on the Wednesday, we have some sort of issue with boundaries. Could also be to do with somebody hurting you, or it could just be generally just feeling a little bit vulnerable. Um, it could also be dealing with heart energy and just kind of dealing with like um, past energy coming up. Could be something suddenly and being like, why am I crying? I don't know why I'm crying. Oh my God, it's so sad. I'm not actually crying for any reason. I don't know why I'm crying. It's like, just let it out, you know, let it flow. It's all coming out for a reason. Just energies might be really sensitive this week, okay? On Thursday, we have the temperance with the moon. So you're going to be balancing out these emotions. After Wednesday, you're going to be like, do you know what? You need to sort yourself out. So basically, you're going to be really kind to yourself and possibly boundaries with yourself and how much you actually accept in terms of people. And in terms of other people's energies, I feel like you're going to be really confident to say, actually, no, I'm going to clear my energy. I'm going to do some yoga, meditate and just cleanse myself. Yeah. And things are going to start to come up and you're going to start to recognize what this is. and You're going to balance that out. The angels are going to help you with that. Very sensitive emotions. Yeah. And then there could be a little bit of overthinking. I do feel like it's to do with relationships and possibly you guys who are single, you may think that nothing is ever going to happen. But there is somebody coming in. Okay. Could be a fire sign and could also be a water sign. Okay. You've also got the knight of wands underneath as well as the king of wands. So you could be feeling really, really down. Possibly someone could hurt you uh, unexpectedly. Sorry, guys. Um, but I feel like you're going to already be expecting this. So don't worry. It's not going to be some sudden thing. Um, I feel like it's going to be like, okay, actually, now they've broken this off. I'm going to kind of balance myself out, get out of this energy. And kind of there's going to be someone coming in who's got more balanced to, to them. Okay. So we've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So definitely could be somebody coming in from a far off land, um, from a far off place. Sorry, you can't see that guys. Uh, from a far off place. You could also be wanting to travel but may not have enough money, but you really kind of want to get things moving, okay? So that is the weekly energy for you guys. I'm keeping this one short uh, because I don't really have a lot of time. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe. Comment down below if it resonated. If it did resonate, choose another group or you can just let it fly. Also, I'm doing 10% off all my readings throughout September. So please uh, get that if you would like to get a private reading. And I'm also doing free crystal recommendations for everyone who gets a reading in September. I only do them for my hour readings, but this month I'm doing them for every single reading. And they've been very, very popular and very helpful for a lot of you guys. So thank you so much. And I'll speak to you very soon. Bye, guys.